Hey everybody, how you guys doing today? Okay, today we're going to draw the angel for our mixed media piece. So what I did was I just threw, I drew four circles here real quick to show you guys four different ways that you can do the eyes and then I'll do, this is just printer paper. I just want to give you guys an idea of that you don't have to draw a face, like a full whimsy face or anything to that effect. That there are many different faces that you can make. Um, draw. We all know we can make faces. Maybe one day we'll have a face contest. However, um, you can do one where you just do the eyes as dots. Well, we would bring the eyes down a little bit further. Where you would just do the eyes as dots. Her little nose. And then you can do a smile. Or you could do little lips. Remember we do the M and then our line in between and then bring our lips down. Okay. And then you could add her hair, you know, and then we'd erase all this off the roundness and then she'd have her, you know, her hair. And that's one way you can do it. You know, you would then, of course, adjust your round face. I just traced around my acrylic bottle on the bottom to get the roundness. But then, you know, you go in, you can make her face a little, you know, where it looks more in proportion. If you don't want to do something like that, you can do like over here where we do ovals. I mean, this is really, you know, they're whimsy. They're, they're not, nothing has to be right on or perfect and she's going to be sideways remember her body is going to be like her neck and then everything's going to be that way because she's going to be flying so you can do something like this which is very simple and then do another here so remember you do the oval you do the eye and then you do this and that's her pupil then you can color her eye in whatever color you want and then you can do her nose, just a little thing like that. And then her mouth can just be a smile if you want. You know? And you can double it if you want. Or you could do lips, whatever you want. And then remember, she'll have her hair. You know? And then you would go in, erase. Because you never know how big you're going to make it. And then you just bring up her chin a little bit. So that's another way. So you can do them oval like this. Or you can do them round and do the same exact thing. Obviously better than me as I'm doing it in a hurry to not waste everybody's time. But so you can do very, you know, you could do closer. You can make this even smaller and do her little eyes very closer, very primitive looking. You know, and then do her uh, nose and then do, uh, you know, a smile if you want with big cheek, you know, big whatever. And then just make her face a little you know, a little smaller. I always do the circles just to have an idea. You don't have to. You can do the face first and then draw the circle around it, whatever way you like to do it. But, and then you can add, of course, her hair. Right? And then, you know, or you could add circles around her eyes. Whatever way, whatever way you want to do it. Now these aren't, I mean, you know, I would spend more time and everything, but that's an idea of different ways. And then of course there's the way that I do where I just kind of do my line going down, my line going this way. And then I do my, you could do your eyes this way where your line goes over your hoop goes over your loop and then leave your eye flat, which is what we're going to do on this one. And then I will add the eyeballs. 
and then her little nose and I don't know exactly what kind of nose I'm going to do, but then I will do her lips. And then maybe give her some eyelashes. I don't know. We'll see once I get on there. And her eyebrows. And then I'll erase all this off. And then give her her, her hair. Because she's going to be like an angel. And you see? When you have her little pupil... So there's different ways you can do it. She doesn't have to have a fully drawn face. There's a, a I could show you a million other ways, but I just wanted to show you like, for instance, this one down here for people who don't like to draw the eyes or aren't really, uh, you know, I think I can get you guys to do this one. Very simplest, very easy, but you know, if you want to do these kind of eyes, you can do the circle or the oval and you got it down pat, you know, it's just, it's just the fun of it. Now we have our, our pad, our background, and I don't know right quick, which way I'm going to put her. So I'm not digging on this, um, uh, snowflake that much. I can go over it with white paint if I want, but what happened was because I had some water soluble, uh, ink underneath of it. And then I went and didn't let my ink dry. And then Put my glitter glue on and glued it on it kind of came through a little bit so i don't know i might put her face this going like here and her body going this way i don't know yet but right now we're going to draw the angel now get a piece of paper um i know i can't quite i wasn't quite deciding which like this will be as long as my angel is going to be so I, I can't quite decide whether I want it to be this long or I want it to be longer. Because I want her head to be, let's say if her head's here, and then I can, I can draw her and she has her dress and then her legs can go out some. And then I can decorate around her a little bit more. So I might do that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me move in just a little bit, just so you guys can see. And let's get a drawing. So I know her face is going to go up here. And I'm just taking a white bottle. Um, you can use glue. You can use whatever. And remember, the, the size of the bottle does not matter. As in other things where things the size of things do matter. You can use whatever. You can use a can. You can use a, a bottle. You can just draw a circle. But I'm going to draw around, and I never get it right because once I pick up my pencil to go around this way, I always screw it up. But I'm just lightly going to draw the head. Okay. And because I really do think my head's going to go this way, I'm going to bring her out this way. So now that I have the head, and maybe what I'll do is move the background there. Now that I have the head, I'm going to draw her neck. Now remember, she's going to be flying, so we're going to kind of have a, she's going to kind of be looking at us. So her face is still going to be a face looking at us, if that makes sense. And the hair we'll do after, let's do her body. So here's her neck, and then I'm going to go on with, I know I'm going to give her, she's going to go like this, because she's going to be flying and then I'll just do it like this and bring it down like this just so we get a start so you see she's flying now once her hair comes on it's going to kind of cover this so this isn't going to matter how thick or wide you have it do you know what I mean like the shoulders because they're going to kind of be covered and then on here I'm going to draw because I want her hand to be down here. So I'm going to kind of make another little line and have her hand come like her arm and then bell it out a little bit like she has bell, uh, what are they called? Uh, you know, like the flared out arms shirt. And then just give her a little bit of a wrist. And I'm just drawing lightly with my pencil. And then her legs can come 
Now I got to decide, do I want it? Maybe I want it, maybe I want it this straight. Maybe we'll leave it straight. Maybe that's what I'll do. We'll leave this flare out a little bit like her. Yeah, maybe I'll just do it straight like that. Very simple. And then her legs can go. Like that. Because she's flying. And I'll shorten this up just a little bit. All right, and she's flying. So right now, that's what we have so far. And her hands, you know, they can be, we can draw in hands, we can uh, have her holding something or whatever, and we'll decide that in a bit. So now I'm going to do her hair. So when I do her hair, her hair on the outside, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to erase the top of her head because we know when we draw faces and, and are draw, drawing those kind of things, we really don't really use that that much. So her looking at us, I want her hair to have like a long kind of dip. And then, do I want that one? No, you know what? Let's do it the opposite way. See, I'm so indecisive. Let's do it like this. Let's give her her hair on the back. And we'll make it, and I'm going over what I've already drawn, and we'll make her hair have, like, some, some of the curves. And it's going to cover, and it's going to go up. And we're going to have it go up, up like this, and then come down like she has bangs there, and then come down like she has bangs there. Now, when you go in and erase where we traced over, everywhere we traced over, and it makes much more sense once we start coloring, and I'll show you this. Her neck's not going to show there because obviously her hair. And we'll just bring down another piece of kind of hair like that. Yeah. And then there's her bangs. And then we can kind of put like a nice till we get. All right. So now she has her hair and she's flying. Now here, what I'll do, it's going to be upside down, but I'm going to make this a little thicker. So I'm going to take another piece, like as if she has more hair and kind of make this have another piece that just kind of goes over that. Cause I want her to have thick flowing hair. So, you know, it'll kind of flow behind this. And if you want it to have another kind of, you know, little point there, you can. Not bad. And like I said, her arm, we have her arm right there and her shoulder and here's her neck. Okay. Now let's do her little face. And all I'm going to do in her little face is, and remember you don't, it, just because this is our circle that we drew, you don't have to keep it that big if you don't, you know, but I am going to draw just my half and half. So, you know, kind of, I'm not going to worry too much about, about measuring it perfectly, just kind of a, you know, and I'm going to do an eye over here, except I'm going to leave this, I'm going to trace this bottom line because I'm going to ha leave her have one of those kind of eyes. And then I'm going to try to move over here, do the same thing. Just do your over and then trace that bottom line. Then we can kind of erase the eye lines for now. And if you think that this one, I can see this one's a little bit smaller than that one. 
I can take my line a little bit over more and then just kind of do that. And I can do it. You can make the eyes whatever, as long or as short, you know, whatever you want. And you see? And then for the nose, because she's more of a folk doll, I'm just going to kind of just give her the little nose. And I'm going to try to make it as easy as I can for you guys to do this. And then you can still see your line. I erased it, but I can still see the general idea of where it's at. And I'm just going to give her a little lips. I'm going to go in. And I do it light because I know I'm going to end up erasing. And then I'm going to follow with my line. And then what do I do? I go like this and I bring it in. I go like this and bring it in. Now we're going to go up to our eyes. And I'm going to put in my circles for my eyeballs. Just like that. And I'm going to give her her eyelids. So you would just trace over like I did. And then we'll put in her little circles for her pupils. And erase all our funky lines that I drew to draw her face. Kind of fix her hair here. And then I look and I think, you know what? Her face is a little bit round on the bottom, a little bit more rounder like than I really would want it. So I'll erase that and I'll kind of just follow where the roundness is and just bring it up a little bit. And I like them having rounder faces because they're folky. there and see how easy that was so let me show you one more time on a piece of scrap paper how I did that with so it's easy for you I'm gonna do it big so I do my line down now you'll do this much smaller because you're doing the little angel. But what we're going to do is we're just going to eye it. You want generally the same width. Okay. But this is our bottom line right here. And then you're just going to do your curve over it. And then you're going to go over here and do your curve over it. And you'll look at them. And like I said, you'll go and, and see if they're about the same. And then... Once you do that, you can either go in inwards to add your eyelid or you can go in outwards to add your to add your eyelid. It's up to you. And then you'll just add your circle. And this is another way to do the eyes so you don't have to worry. Of course, there are obviously two sizes here I'm doing. And it's it's easier than you having to do like this and then, you know, some people are very nervous about that. So you can do, you know, you can do whichever way you want. But then you have your eye here and you just add your pupil, whatever size eye you're doing. And then you'll color this in whatever color eye. And this is the black. And then you have your eye here. So when you erase all this around it, you have your eyes. Two different size eyes obviously right here but you understand the gist and then you'll just go down and you'll do your nose and then you'll do your lips and i always do my lips and end up going over them again when i go to color so and then you'll just bring your and do your lips and that's how simple i mean these eyes are like i said instead of us trying to get you know because a lot of people are nervous at doing this kind of eye and like I said, it's not that it's really not that hard to do, you know, if you have a ruler and stuff like that. And then once you get the hang of it, it's easy. But, you know, a lot of people are nervous with this eye, but this eye is much simpler, especially with these 
um, little, oh, oh, little folk girls. Okay, now I am going to decide whether I want to paint her or use um, markers. I think I'm going to paint her. I'm not sure. But what I am going to do, and I do this all the time with all my art when I draw, um, is I lightly erase everything because I don't want my lines coming through. And I just lightly, so I can barely see where my lines are. So I don't smear the graphite. Some, some paintings I do, I like the graphite coming through. Um, this one, I'm not going to like the graphite coming through, but I'm just going to give her a little erasing. Some people get afraid of this. It's not, it's, there's nothing to be afraid of. And if you don't want to do it, don't do it. Paint over it. Paint over your graphite. It doesn't matter. That's why I always say, um, you know, I did this heavier so you guys can see on camera, but you know, always draw lightly sketch. Because if you don't want to erase and you want to paint over it, then you can. But you'll still have your copy underneath. All right. So you see how I did? You can barely see her. <laughs> My camera's like, yeah, right. You can barely see her, but I can see enough that I know what I want to do. So first I'm going to start with, I'm going to add her dress last because I'm going to use, what did I do with it? I'm so itchy today. I did something with it. Here it is. I'm going to use this piece of red glitter. Uh, I don't know how well you can see it. Paper I bought from the Michaels. So um, it's from Recollections, it's glitter card stock, 12 by 12. And I will do my best to cut it out to match my dress because I want that to be glittery because I really want it to stand out from the thing. So I'm not gonna worry about her dress, but her hair. What color do I want her hair? And I think I'm gonna do her 